Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the beta channel. Yeah, Microsoft also released a build for the beta channel. So that means that this week we had a build for every Windows Insider channel. And that is great news. That means that Microsoft is working on improving Windows 11 and on bringing new useful and interesting features to Windows 11 users. In this video we're gonna talk about the build 22624.1470. This is the latest build for the beta channel. Of course, if you don't know how the Better channel works and why there are two different builds in the better channel you can check out the article below in the video's description for more information about this if you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about different windows 11 insider preview builds please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video in the better channel we are also getting the usb 4 settings page which is basically under bluetooth and devices usb and usb 4 hubs and devices and this enables new productivity scenarios for docking, high performance peripherals, displays, and charging. More info about this, of course, in the article below in the video's description. You will also now be able to see a copy button for quickly copying two factor authentication codes and notification toasts from apps installed on the PC or from phones linked to the PC. I've made a video a few days ago in which I showed you how to enable that, and we've also tested it to see how it looks. Basically, Windows will automatically detect an authentication code and make sure that you can copy it really easily. Regarding the taskbar and system tray, Microsoft also added the glanceable VPN status icon into the system tray when connected to a recognized VPN profile and also the VPN icon, a small shield, will be overlaid in your system accent color over the active network connection. As you can see right now, I'm connected to a VPN. The VPN icon and next to my Wi-Fi connection icon has the Windows or the system accent color. I think this is really nice. Also, Microsoft is introducing Reducing the ability to show seconds in the clock on the system tray. All you need to do to enable this is to right click on the taskbar, click on taskbar settings and scroll down to taskbar behaviors and here you will have show seconds in system tray clock uses more power. Select it and normally you should get the seconds in the system tray clock but we have a known issue related to this which is very interesting. Microsoft states that while the setting to turn on to show seconds in the clock on the system tray is shown under settings personalization and taskbar, it currently does not work on this build. So it's <laughs> good news and bad news at the same time microsoft is implementing this on the beta channel but at the same time it is not working properly in this belt so you have to wait until the next one to be able to use this new feature also related to the search on the taskbar the search box on taskbar will be lighter when windows is set to a custom color mode especially when the windows 11 mode is set to dark and the app mode is set to light under settings personalization colors you will see a lighter search box on the taskbar and in this build of course we also have some fixes for both builds and all the fixes are related to the search on the taskbar, the fixed rendering issues when using the touch keyboard with the search box on the taskbar, the fix an issue when double clicking the search highlight glyph in the search box makes it disappear, fix an issue where the search box would randomly disappear, fix an issue where the search icon flips incorrectly for right to left languages, fix an issue where you might have seen some text flicker in the search box when you click into it, fix an issue where the search box might disappear on one monitor if you're using multiple monitors, and also they made some accessibility fixes to the settings or search under settings, personalization and taskbar. So basically this is all there is to it in this better channel build. I'm hoping that you enjoyed this video. If you did please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase until next time have a nice day.